What's up guys, Power Bang here, and I just got done with my war attacks and felt it was a good opportunity to bring some more advanced Shattered Laloon uh, footage to you guys. Um, I know a lot of questions have come in about how to choose which strategy, um, where to approach the base from, how to you know kill the clan castle and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm hoping to answer a bunch of that in this video. So, <clears throat> looking at an anti-three-star base, um, the first thing that you're going to want to pay attention to, obviously, is the clan castle. Um, almost always in an anti-3 base, the clan castle is positioned in a manner that is not lurable without taking out at least one defense first. And if, if it looks lurable, um, say for example in this base, it might have a radius, something like that. Um, you can obviously send in a hog to this mortar and get inside there. Um, that usually means that there's a Tesla out here or something like that. That's basically a trap for your for your uh, lure calculations as far as like what you're bringing for troops, and that's just designed to try to burn people. So, looking past the clan castle, the next thing you want to pay attention to is the archer queen. Now, when you're designing a base to defend against uh, three stars, that archer queen position is huge. You want it to be well protected. And you want to also pay attention to where she's at in the base because it's going to command that the attacker enters the base from a certain side in order to take her out. Um, if the Archer Queen is not dealt with, it's a very, very minimal chance of achieving three-star raids. So she must be dealt with prior to the, uh, the bulk of your raid going into the base. So because she is down here, that basically puts her on um, kind of this quadrant of the, the base. And you can basically enter to kill her from, you know, probably three different sides are the most likely. First is through this compartment, um, you know, jump spell in this area that will get you to that queen. Next would be to break in through this compartment, jump spell the junction there, that would get you to her. And the third one would be through this compartment um, and, you know, jump spell this location here that will also get you to the queen. So she's going to jump over that wall um, no matter which side you approach from. Um, hitting her from this side, that's too many compartments, and it also has to go through the king. Same with over here. And when you come from this direction, uh, she's on the far side of the map, and you have to go through a lot of high damage or high HP buildings in order to reach that position. So you would think as a defender of this base, you're going to trap your base accordingly, um, that you're going to expect an entry from one of these three locations. Now, paying attention to the air defense that's nearest the queen, that's this one here, um, that is more or less a air defense that is there for show. When you send your golem in uh, with your kill squad, that golem is gonna go in here and you're going to basically jump spell the junction or if you entered from the, you know, the right side here, you jump spell here or if it was over here, you would put your uh, jump spell here. Um, likely, um, this direction here is going to be less than desirable. Let me highlight this better. From the bottom left, this is less than, de than desirable because when you enter, this air defense is quite far away. Say if your queen you know, jumps the wall and is standing here, um, both of these air defenses are pretty far out of range for her to get to and not as likely for them to go down. So that kind of narrows down where to enter the base. Um, from a defensive perspective from here or here um, to go through this air defense, get the clan castle and also the queen taken out. Um, so keeping that in mind, as an attacker, I now look to see where I can come uh, at the queen from maybe another side of the base that is less obvious. Now, personally, um, I like this top right side. Um, when somebody has kind of, you know, set up their base where it's an obvious entry point, like through this compartment here uh, on this air defense. That air defense, like I was saying before, is basically for show. Um, it doesn't really matter because the golem and the kill squad is going to kill it as part of the entry. So when your hounds come in, it never targets that air defense. So there's no point in trapping it. That means that the seeking air mines that you would normally place on an air defense um, can now be moved to another air defense in this base to essentially double them up to make it more dangerous for your hounds when they enter the base. That means on this air defense over here, you could have double air mines you know, in this location and on uh, this air defense. Um, you would see something like that, and then maybe over here, uh, you've got seeking air mines, you know, potentially in these locations. Now, 
that's how I would, you know, trap my base if I was, uh, you know, defending. You try to force the entry from a certain side, make it very enticing to enter there, and then trap the hell out of the other side so that when the, the hounds and the balloons come into the base, um, they're essentially annihilated right away. So what happens if you enter the base then from the side with all the traps? Now, I've decided to come from the top right here. Uh, my plan was to use two golems, and we'll go ahead. The first one I want to drop right here, and it's very important that you target the archer tower at this very spot because this wizard tower um, is in range, and it will be firing at that golem. The next golem will come down in this location to basically tank all of this uh, left side, and eventually the whole point of this is you're going to break in with wall breakers on the corner here. One, because it's a level eight wall and it's gonna be cheaper to break two wall breakers instead of three, and it's going to be away from the wizard tower of fire who's busy shooting at the spot over here with this golem. So when that golem goes in, um, you're gonna have wizards come in behind, uh, wizard here, wizard here for a funnel, and then a wizard here and a wizard here for a funnel. Uh, once that has, has been done, you can break open the wall and then basically you have your heroes, your archer queen, golems move in, the jump spell is going to go down, and the key here is to span both of these compartments. Get those golems out in front of your king. So you want the golems to be way up here on these defenses with the clan castle and the queen targeting them before you send in your king. So that's going to be very key. Um, but now look what happens um, if, for example, um, those air traps were here and here um, and here and here. What happens when these defenses are taken out? and we hit from over here uh, where they expected the entry to come from, we send in our hounds and they don't have traps here. So, you know, I don't know where the traps are, but these are my assumptions and my thought process when I'm coming at a base. Um, if there's no traps there, my hounds are, are tanking for an extraordinarily long time and my loons are able to basically come in leisurely um, targeting all of these buildings um, from around the base and it just everything collapses on the core so that's kind of my thought process let's go ahead watch this raid and we'll see how it plays out I might stop it at a few points to point out some key things that are happening um, so let's first watch the entry top right the first golem comes down let's go ahead and pause it here so you'll notice the wizard tower is firing at that golem that has opened up the um, spot where I want to break my wa wall uh, with the wall breakers. I'm going to send in wall breakers to that spot when the time is right. So the first thing I'm going to do though is get my other golem coming into this spot and I'm going to be creating my funnel. So continuing on here, uh, the next golem comes in, you'll notice the wizard comes in behind and basically everything's getting created now. So after this happens, the wall breakers come in, open the wall, and then my queen goes in. Now this part's key. Um, this is where a lot of people make mistakes and they start sending in their king um, along with uh, the queen and um, you know the wizards and the golems going at the same time. Well what happens here is the golems are actually going to stop here and then they're going to move here. Well the king is going to basically come in, target this wizard tower and when it goes down it's going to target the next closest building which very well could be this uh, dark elixir storage or this builder hut. It's not going to be this archer tower, so it will surpass the golems, and that'll put it in range of this clan castle. When it comes out, the first thing it targets is your king. It gets destroyed before it ever has a chance to kill the enemy archer queen, which is its sole purpose. So continuing on, the golems head into the base here. Notice the patience. The queen basically takes out these defenses. The golems are still working and still have significant health left. The jump spell goes down. Notice the wizard's kind of following everything in. At this point is when the king uh, is basically entering the battlefield. You'll notice he's lagging way behind, and he's just now going to start you know, leisurely strolling towards um, this jump spell. You want to make sure that there's either a jump spell down so he has a direct path into this uh, portion of the base. Uh, what you don't want to have happen is all of these buildings get cleared out, um, so there's nothing there, and then this building over here or this building over here becomes the nearest building to your king. Pay attention to your funnel, the width of your funnel. Once it's created wide enough, you don't have to worry about your king straying. Um, if, for example, on my funnel I left this building up and this building up, that king would likely divert sideways and take a walk around the base at this point. So notice the clan castle it is, you know, heading out 
and it is all targeting my golems in this area. The wizards and the, the archer queen are going to step up and help take it out. You let it group up, and then you're going to drop your lightning spell according to whatever spell order it is. Watch my lightning spell video on that. I have it up on the channel. Um, go ahead and continue to watch this raid again, though. Everything kind of groups up. Here comes the lightning spell just above it and to the left, since it is the second spell. It takes out everything but one minion and a few wizards. So troops go down, but check this out. Uh, the queen is in there uh, sitting behind the wall. I don't know if you can see her. She is back here being real crafty and sneaky. The king has come over and jumped the wall. But very importantly, notice how much damage my king is taking. You'll see his health bar right here. He's at about um, two-thirds of his life, maybe three-quarters, and he's just used his ability. Now, had I sent him in early and he would have taken any damage from the clan castle, um, I would have probably failed this raid. So watch this. He jumps the wall. Notice his health now. He's almost dead. The Archer Queen has uh, full life, but notice he's going to basically take her out um, very quickly as he goes down, and then my Archer Queen uh, is up above taking out both air defenses. So now that both air defenses are down, I've chosen to come from the, the right side of this base all the way pathing, you know, basically getting the attention of as many um, air targeting defense buildings that I can while I bring in my loons targeted to the buildings um, from behind them. So you're going to see um, loons come in basically targeted to all these buildings. Um, the reason I come from this side of the base and not the top side over here is because of the air sweeper. The air sweeper is pointed out in this direction here, so if I start at the raid there, I'm gonna have to fight those, you know, solid puffs of air, and, you know, that's just not the most efficient way to do it because the balloons never take out these uh, point defenses and get in to kill this air defense because they're too busy fighting that air sweeper. Your hound dies, you lose your tank, and essentially you lose the raid. So come in from the side uh, where you can take out the air sweeper from behind. Um, we'll go ahead and continue to watch this raid now. Um, targeted balloons come in, making sure not to leave that wizard tower and the mortar up there, so I have to path back at the end. You'll notice only one Seeking Air Mine comes up on that first air defense, and then the Rage Spell goes down to help those balloons into the air defense. Um, tanks go into that second air defense, and again, no traps there. So, you know, there is some skeleton traps. Um, targeted balloons come into all of these, and then I've got one uh, balloon on this top side. Now pay attention to the air sweeper and how much it affects that balloon. Now imagine if I had started my raid there. You know, that's just, you know, not fair. <laughs> One more puff of air, pushes it back, doesn't even reach the tower, it dies. So everything's kind of clumping up here on the last air defense. It goes down. Um, Queen helps out with the Tesla. Um, my balloons are, you know, taking some damage from that last wizard tower. Unfortunately, the, uh, the air sweeper was kind of protecting those buildings, so I had to kind of come at it and uh, just hope I was getting lucky there. So... Last building gets taken out here, and at this point it's just clean up. Now you'll notice my queen, uh, rather than turn around and go back the way she came, she's going to bang on some Lego walls for a while because, you know, they're fun to bang on, quite honestly. So she's going to do it again. Just bang the whole thing all the way through, even though there's no buildings up there anymore. The balloons have taken them out. So once that's done, all right, now we're going to, you know, bang on some more walls. So she's not real helpful for the cleanup process. That's okay, though. Um, the pups and the uh, balloons basically are circling back around to make sure that we get those last few buildings taken out. And that's the three-star, guys. So that's the first raid I'm going to show you. Let's switch gears now. I did show another raid in the live attack. I'm going to break it down in some more detail and kind of show you the thought process that you know went into the raid and exactly how to um, you know approach a base in an anti three star you know fashion that's designed you know to prevent you from getting three stars i want to show you guys how to approach that and again you know come at a base from a less than typical fashion that may surprise uh, a defender and render his traps useless all right so this is my second attack of the war again the base is set up in a you know unconventional fashion the clan castle again is centralized so that's something that you know right off the bat we know you know it's behind uh the radius of all these uh defense buildings there is no real good spot to lure from 
So that's going to indicate to me that I'm going to take out the clan castle troops with a lightning spell on my entry. Now, trying to determine whether or not to, to go at this base with a shattered style entry, um, you know, a, a cold blooded, you know, you could come through this area here, um, maybe break the wall and come at the queen that way. Um, possibly drop a jump spell, something like that to get to her. Um, I've chosen, as you guys probably could guess from the video title, I've chosen to come at this in a shattered Laloon fashion. That means two golems for the entry, and the goal when you bring two golems on a Town Hall 9 base is to get the, the Clan Castle troops out and killed, to kill the Archer Queen, to take out two air defenses. That's the bare minimum. Now, in this base, you're going to notice that I'm going to uh, end up having to go through two archer towers and an expo as well in, in order to get the the main goals accomplished which are the the cc the archer queen and the two air defenses two air defenses not one for a shattered entry so if you check out the cannons here and here they're external and those are very obvious anchor points for my golems um, i've checked the radiuses of each of these point defenses and all of them, if I park a golem in front of the, uh, the cannons here, um, this one is in range over here. These two are both in range of this golem over here. So I know that once the golems are parked on those cannons, all of these defenses in this area are rendered ineffective against any troops that I'm dropping behind to help funnel and also my archer queen. Now, that's actually going to come back to bite me during this raid, but that's besides the point. A little bit of an AI glitch. You guys will see that in a minute. So, let's say that our golems are going to be positioned, like we talked about, in front of each cannon. What do we need to do to basically get in to kill that queen and the clan castle? So, the first thing that we're going to look for is where we're going to place our jump spell. The jump spell we're going to place right here and it's going to go over both uh, both compartments here so it's going to take you from this compartment over this compartment and into both this side and this side depending on you know where the troops are standing so that is where we're going to drop the jump spell now we got to figure out how we're going to get our troops there now going through this you know first compartment here is kind of the obvious choice um, we're going to need to break the wall in the middle there. In order to break that wall safely, we don't have any splash damage to worry about. There's nothing close enough. The queen is also out of range. So the only thing that we need to make sure is that these uh, buildings here are occupied uh, with golems or other troops um, that are going to hold their attention while the wall breakers come in. So once we break that point, we need to make sure that the outsides are funneled. So wizards over in this area like that to trim these outer buildings and we have to make sure that the cannons actually get taken out by the wizards that way when the wall is broken the golems actually redirect and head into the base because that will make these buildings in here the next closest defenses rather than the wizard tower and the mortar so cannons are down the wall gets opened um, we're gonna have our archer queen hang out on the army camps here and once the, that happens basically everything's going to kind of start working its way in again remember that you need to let your golems get out ahead um, the next defenses after these are all the way in here so the golems are going to do a great job getting well out in front the clan castle troops are going to come out target them once that's happened then you can drop your king in and he's going to come straight in and take out that queen if she's still alive so that's kind of the plan guys and again um, if you're looking at um, this base this guy tried to discourage entries you know to take out um, both of these air defenses and he did that by placing all of these storages here um, those are high you know hit point defense building not defense buildings but obstacles I guess you would call them and that's basically a deterrent um, for those that are trying to get to these air defenses just with their queen so if you tank properly and take out the clan castle properly um, it should work out so let's go ahead watch the raid and then once we you know let's pay attention here once we get the initial objectives taken care of where is the air sweeper it's right here 
and where is it pointing? It's looking this way and the cone is something like that. So to come from behind it and render it ineffective, we're going to want to start our hounds on this side of the base. That will you know, allow us to target those balloons in and basically it will allow us to rage them up into the first air defense, which happens to be right behind the air sweeper. Once that sweeper is out, um, is taken out, you can basically, you know, start targeting these balloons on all different sides of the base without having to worry about that air sweeper screwing things up and uh, taking out your raids. So that is the thought process, guys. Let's give it a watch. Um, the first thing that's going to happen, remember, the golems are going to come down, just like we talked about, targeting these cannons. All of the defenses in here should lock on um, to the cannons. Now, at this point, this golem uh, on the right side, right here, is in range of this cannon. For whatever reason, um, it did not start shooting at the golem. So, a little bit of an AI glitch there. Uh, I went back and checked this on the map several times. Uh, there's no real excuse for it. Um, it's just one of the things that happens. So, He's all the way in front of that cannon before the Archer Queen comes down. The cannon still decides to shoot at the Archer Queen, but that's okay. We're going to recover from that. I will show you that in a minute. Let's pay attention now to the funnel being created on the right and the left sides by the wizards. They take out these cannons, and you'll notice the golems are going to basically redirect once the wall is open. Now the wall is open. Uh, the queen has taken out the building that was focused on her, so she is you know, surviving, essentially. The jump spell goes down. Now notice, the king has just now been set on the battlefield, way back here. So he is behind the golems. This is huge, because now that the, the minions and the wizards, and there's a witch right back here, they are going to target the golems because they are going to be out in front of the raid. That's going to be huge. Um, that's what they're there for, guys. They're there to tank. So if you're dropping your king too early and your king is passing your golems, you've defeated the point of even bringing golems in the first place. They're there to tank. They're there to help you accomplish your objectives. And if you're rushing it with your heroes, there's no point in bringing the golems. You might as well just try to suicide in and try to you know, get the job done with just the heroes. So we'll continue watching here. And notice how they're all firing at the golems, and the golems are going to hop over the wall here. The queen is already down. The enemy queen was taken out by uh, friendly wizards and the archer queen. So, real easy queen kill. The king is going to go in. He's got almost nothing to do. Um, the lightning spell is going to go down. That's going to handle the, the bulk of the clan castle troops. And it only gets off one hit on the witch somehow, but the king basically rages up. And he kills her right there. So the clan castle is completely dead. A um, couple skeletons left to take care of. But that's semantics at this point. Um, the queen is dead. And look, the king. He's got full life. And let's let the dust cloud, you know, clear a little bit. And you've still got a golem right here and a golemite right here. So you've got one unbroken golem, which is huge. And this expo is almost dead, and you're working in with the, the queen bringing up the rear. And her goal, remember, was to take out those two air defenses. So she takes out the first air defense, no problem. This is kind of where it, it uh, gets a little bit crucial. The king's used his ability. He's taken out some additional buildings here. Um, I'm watching the barbarians. You'll notice in front of the uh, expo what the expo is firing at is this whole wad of barbarians and I'm watching it to make sure that it does not lock on to my queen. If that happens, my raid is, you know, in for a world of hurt. So what I decided to do was go ahead, use the ability, get through this gold storage really quickly. It should take like one shot, maybe two on the expo to take it out. And then once that's done, all there is is a mortar left to shoot my queen, if if that at all. And uh, that's not going to take her out once she regains some health. So we'll go ahead um, start it here. She's going to go ahead, use the ability, get through that gold storage in three shots, one shot the expo, and then uh, take out that mortar in one shot. Now, um, still have the golemites. They've just broken. I've got the expo at half, or the uh, air defense at half life. She takes it out as well in three shots. And now, you know, she hops in. So as soon as that's accomplished, I know that the air defenses are down. I've already got my hounds coming in um, from this side over here. It's going to fly over 
Um, notice the angles that I take. I try to fly over as many trap locations as I possibly can so I can soak those up on the way in so my balloons do not hit them. And I also try to split as many air targeting defense buildings as possible so that they're all shooting my hound on the way in and the loons can, you know, basically uh, come in free of any targeting or any pestering by the air defenses. Um, I've made sure to drop in two loons for this wizard tower because there's nothing worse than having a clumped up group of balloons come back for the wizard tower. Um, Something that I recommend is when your kill squad creates a hole in a base. Like I've already taken out 35 to 40 percent of this base um, with my kill squad. This is kind of the wedge that they've taken out. A lot of players, their their biggest mistake is when they send in their um, laloon portion of it. They send in balloons to these first defenses here, but they forget this one and they path away. They you know they come in and die. And this last, you know, this first defense, the one that they, you know, could have targeted right off the bat, they end up getting through the entire base and then they have to fly all the way back for it. And it either kills them on the way back or they flat out run out of time because they don't have the time to clean up. Um, all of the buildings left to clean up are on this side and then they have to path all the way back across the base uh, to get that cleaned up. So let's go ahead and continue watching here. Um, targeted balloons come into all of these defenses. And you'll notice I've got balloons already in route, and the hound, like, notice my second hound. Um, it's coming in to help out with this first hound. Look at how many traps he's soaking up right now. This one is going to back it up and be there. But notice that the first wave of balloons is basically right on the butt of that second hound. So that's going to be real key getting in there quickly. The rage spell is going to go down to help as many of those balloons along as possible. Um, notice that first wizard tower is taken out um, by that first group of balloons. Now at this point, um, I've got my third hound already headed in. And it is headed in at an angle, again, through a few different uh, air targeting defense buildings. And again, over some trap locations. I don't know if you guys can see that. But a seeking air mine is targeting that hound right now instead of my balloons. And it's going to go ahead and eat that trap along with probably some others as it arrives at this air defense. Um, balloons again right behind the hound. Notice, you know, they're already there. So minimal time is going to be spent beating on that hound before these uh, outside defenses are taken care of. Now this point in the raid is when you need to make a decision. You've already used your first rage spell to get into that first air defense. You've used a jump spell to access the queen. You've used lightning spell to take out the clan castle. You've got one rage spell typically left in your bag at this point. You need to decide whether it's going to be best to use the rage spell here to get into that uh, second air defense that you're going to be taking out or if the rage spell is going to be best served used in the core to help the balloons from the first group along uh, through the base. Now, it's a judgment call. Um, typically, if you have more balloons up top, you know, on your entry point, they're going to that are going to be coming down targeting some buildings here. Or if there's a key building still up like this air sweeper, um, using them in the core to help them along uh, is typically the better option. Most folks will use, you know, their their rages to help out this second group. And what happens is you get them into the air defense, but what is neglected is these cores with all these high DPS Teslas. And as the balloons float, you know, real slowly across the core, they essentially get taken out by the Expos that are pointed to air um, if you didn't get it on the entry. And then also maybe like a quad Tesla or something. And that's where the raids go to die. So trust in your core rages here if you feel like you can get that first group accelerated uh, to meet up with the second group and you'll see what i'm talking about here so i i chose to drop at this point i see that air sweeper firing and i chose to drop that rage spell to help out the first group as well as you know parts of the the second group um, move in get that air sweeper taken out and you'll notice it's going to help them down towards the air defense and that tesla as well and so at this point, everything's kind of breaking apart. I don't have any more hound coverage anymore. And the only thing left in question it, when you get to this bottom portion is how, how bad are these uh, balloons going to group up? Ideally, you're going to want to save 
uh, a couple balloons to do a backside entry on key buildings like wizard towers because at the end of a laloon raid your uh, balloons are typically clumped up in one big bunch and a wizard tower can do serious damage um, to the group that's one thing that could have been improved on this raid um, that would have made it ideal um, but I use too many balloons basically on the front side as you can see I've got you know plenty I don't know that any have died so far so continue watching here uh, the the first wizard tower is taken out and now we move uh, towards the final three defenses starting to clump up a little bit um, one trap is eaten there the seeking air mine and they go ahead and take out the wizard tower followed by the archer tower plenty of balloons left um, the only thing left for cleanup is a few uh, you know resource buildings and we've got plenty of time to take those out so that's how you approach the shattered la loon raid guys um, to recap you want to get your golems down have a decent spread um, you're trying to you know if you have to use wall breakers you want to split the middle of those golems and make sure that the splash damage is targeted on the golems not where you know your wall breakers are going to be hitting the wall once uh, you've kind of set up your golems where you're going to be you know trying to make your entry Create that funnel with your wizards, get the archer queen down in the middle, have them start working in, get the jump spell down to access the queen position, and as the clan castle troops come out of the clan castle, make sure that you are not putting down your king too soon. If you do that, um, your, your raid's going to go south really quickly. That's the number one cause for failure, because then you fail to accomplish your objectives, and the king, if you can maintain him at uh, a decent amount of health, once the golems go down, the king acts as kind of like a third golem or a third tank inside that core while your queen is working on the two air defenses. So that's going to be it, guys, um, for the Shattered Laloon guide. Um, wanted to do a specific guide focused specifically on this strategy. Um, hopefully you've learned something and you know you like the video leave me a comment in the section below if you have any questions if you liked it give me some feedback let me know what you thought uh, for now this is power bang and i'm signing out till next time thanks so much guys for checking out my video if you feel like you learned something here today and you're a better attacker for having watched it your clan mates will probably feel the exact same way so do me a favor share this video with them get them to the channel and chances are your clan's going to be exploding for three stars from top to bottom before you know it thanks and we'll catch you next time